is to show you how to create a questionnaire or interview guide for using a Google Forms. Now, uh, we have a number of different question types. Uh, we have dichotomous, which are one of two answers. It's either yes or no or true, false, something like that. We have multiple choice, which is ha has three or more choices, plus an other option most of the time. We have a Likert scale, which gives us agreement or disagreement with something on a, a rating scale of one to whatever your top number is. We also have an important scale, which gives us the level of importance, a rating scale, rating the value of something, and open-ended questions, which are looking for more information. You allow your uh, the, the person filling out the questionnaire or doing the interview to fill in their own information. So the first thing that you need to do is open a Google account if you don't already have one. Um, this is a very simple, straightforward process. We go to google.com, okay, and we come over here to this, and we can click on my account. Oh, we're gonna shoot. Sign me up. Sign me out. Sorry. We're going to sign in, and I can choose an account here or I can use another account. So I've got a number of accounts on here. I don't have this. We're going to go to more options and we will create account. So we just fill in all of the information and it takes us to the next step. It's a very easy process to open a, a Google account. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to sign in again because I've uh, signed out. have a lot of people using my computer, as you can see. Okay, so we're back on Google Forms. I've signed myself back in, and I'm going to start on blank. So I'll click this one, start a new form, and I'm going to put together my questions. So the first thing that I need to do is give the form a title, and this is survey questionnaire sample. All right, and then I'm going to give it a description. All right, this is an example of how to use Google Forms to put together a survey. So now I've given it a title and the question. The first thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do is click on Untitled Question and we're going to design some questions using each one of the different types to learn how to use these functions. So the first question that we're going to put in is uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to change this to a short answer question and we'll make it a very simple one. What is your name? And as you can see there's just a little bit of space to give us a short answer. Now we're going to make this question required so we toggle the switch over if we click over here, um, it shows us a description of that question or response validation, which we don't want. We can also delete any question or we can duplicate questions, which we're going to do now. All right, so we've duplicated the question, and this is very useful if we're asking a number of the same type of questions. So uh, short answer, again, they're required. We're going to change it to a paragraph. and. We're going to, uh, what is your reason for uh, creating a survey? All right. So we want a little bit more information from the, from the uh, participants. So I've got two questions in my questionnaire already. Okay. And you'll notice this keeps popping up. If we click on it, we can add an image. So we can upload one, we can take a, a, a screenshot, we can put in a URL, take something from our album or the Google Drive, or we can go ahead and search Google to put an image in here. Chances are, for academic writing, you're not going to be putting images in, so I'm not going to continue with that. All right, the next type of question we're got, thing we're going to do is add a question. So we click this little button down here, and our next question type is multiple choice. So. We'll put in our question, 
and we're going to have a couple number of options. So we're going to say five, add a number option, six, seven, ten, and other. Now I've added other in because that gives the the person the chance to add additional numbers to it. And with multiple choice questions, depending on what you're asking, this is something that you might want. All right, so we're going to now do something new. Um, we're going to uh, let's see, add a new section to this. So uh, we're going to call this one section on question types. All right, we'll go ahead and make that. So now uh, this is an, an option. This is, uh, sorry, this is an option to group your questionnaire in into categories. Okay, so that gives us our, our question type. So we're going to add a question to this. And now you see the default is multiple choice. All right, this time we're going to go to check boxes. And my question is, how many types of questions will you use in your survey? Or not how many, uh, sorry, what are the different types of questions you'll use in your survey. All right, so what are they? And we have the dichotomist, and you'll notice I just entered the, hit the enter key, which works just fine. And uh, now you can see I've gone off screen. Okay, you'll notice that this doesn't automatically give it capital letters at the beginning, so we have to go back in and do this part manually. If you forget, uh, option six, open ended, and other. Okay, so in this case, the student answering the question can click any one of the answers that they want to answer. All right, and we'll make that required. And now we're going to go back and we're going to add another section. And this time we are going to add a linear scale. So this is our Likert scale. And uh, let's see. Okay. Do you agree that Likert scale, you see it doesn't like my word, but it's spelled correctly. Questions are easy to use. Now, we can put a label on this. Um, very difficult and very easy. All right, so this will give us a scale from one to five. Now, um, as someone who's done quite a lot of research, I would recommend using an even number rather than an odd number. If you use an odd number, on your Likert scale, what you'll find is many students will just answer in the middle. So we're going to change that from one to six. And again, we're going to make it a required question. All right, I'm gonna come over here and we're going to use uh, a multiple choice grid. Okay, so it's still a multiple choice, but now we've changed the order. So we want uh, a number of rows and number of columns and they get to tick which ones you want. Uh, let's call this uh, use of surveys. And the first row would be something like um, purpose. And the second one would be uh, frequency. All right. And let's see, the first column we would put in. Mm, teaching, learning, work, uh, entertainment. Okay? All right, 
So now we've done this one and we'll put a response in each row. So this gives us um, two rows with five columns and each row has to have a reason. All right. Now we're going to add one more, let's say, uh, we add, added the section. If you want to add a section, it's this equal sign at the bottom. We've said that. We can add images. You could add a video to it if you want to, but again, you're probably not going to need this for academic writing. And this is adding titles to uh, the section that you've got. Now, I don't want that, so I'm going to delete it. Okay. Once I've deleted something, I can always undo it. All right. So uh, there is also a checkbox grid. So we're going to put this on here just to show you. And the checkbox grid is exactly the same thing, but this, the person doing the survey can answer each one of these as many times as they wish. All right. So, okay. Now we're going to scroll back to the top and we're going to look at something up here. We're going to click these three buttons, which says more, and we can preview our survey. This is where we put the section break in. So we click next. All right. Hmm. Whoops. All right. Well, we'll just go ahead and answer it. Rocks. Practice. How many questions should you have on your survey? Other. 25 to 100. I don't know. All right. And then we click next. And different types of questions you're going to use. You can see we're using the chip box. Okay. Do you think it's easy? Again, you can see how it's set up. Let's put it over here. This is the checkbox uh, questionnaire. So we can tick as many as we want, and then we can click Submit, and it has been recorded. So I will come back over here, and as you can see, I've got one response. But what I'd like to show you very quickly is going back to here. I'm going to go into setting, uh, sorry, add, add collaborators, and at this point, you have um, a URL link that you can send via email to other people so that they can view and change the, the, the um, questions that you put together. So you can share this link with anyone on CityU Google Apps or apps with the links off, or you can share it with anyone with the link. I would suggest just put it um, this one on anyone with a link so that you can give it to your classmates and people that are, are uh, going to participate in the survey. So then we click Save. Okay. Now, I'm the owner of this. Anyone with the link can edit. All right. Now, that means every one of my students can edit this. So I don't want that. All right. This is the, the sharing for allowing editing. So if I give it to you, and I enter your name. I'm just going to enter, uh, send a copy to myself, all right? And I'm going to email a copy um, to my the Roxify account, all right? And we can prevent editors from access, changing access, and adding new people. Um, if you don't trust your group mates, you can click it or not. Okay, so I've made that change because I don't want any of you adding a new person to it. Although that's fine, we'll leave it open. All right. Okay, and then we send it and off it goes. All right, so now I'm sharing this that is not a person in Google Apps and that's absolutely fine. Okay, so that's it. And now I'm done. Okay, now I can look back at my responses and I can see the question answers have been uh, put into place with nice little graphs. Remember to watch the other video to see how you can use Google uh, Forms and the charts and graphs within it to add to your uh, academic papers. Ooh, this form is untitled. So we've got it untitled. We're going to go back to it. Sorry, and we're going to add a title, and the title is the same, Survey Questionnaire Sample. So when you click on it, it puts the title in. The nice thing about this is there is no need to continuously save it. Google does it for you.